Welcome to the Tech Me Show. Today we're going to be talking about the network list service. That basically is when you connect to a network um, on your computer, whether Wi-Fi or whatever the case may be, and it stores the information of that you connected to it. So let's say you go to the local Starbucks um, and uh, you connect, I think they call it AT&T Wi-Fi or may vary where you're located. Um, and you click it and it remembers, ah, okay, and this X amount of area, uh, uh, this existed. Let's go ahead and save this. So if we're in this location and the default uh, network isn't uh, around, let's go ahead and uh, choose that, right? Uh, but, you know, sometimes you don't want that. You don't want your information stored. You want things secured, right? So today we're going to go ahead and uh, turn that off. Uh, let's go ahead on our keyboard, press Windows key R, or additionally you can go to start and then go to uh, right here where it says search and type in services.msc and press enter, or that way too, I'll probably have a duplicate in a second, which I do. Now, I like to go ahead and click standard, get through things a little bit quicker. Uh, I like to also extend the name, description. You know, and I'm a freak. I like to have it uh, set right. But we are looking for the network list selection. We can scroll down, but I'm just going to click an object and go ahead and press the letter N, like in Nancy. And let's go ahead and look. There we are. Network list service. Right now, it's enabled. I can go ahead and press stop, which I'm not going to because I, I actually like using it. <laughs> but if you're one of those uh, people that like to do malicious things and get onto others' networks, uh, I don't condone it, but uh, whatever tickles your fancy. Nonetheless, uh, right now it's on manual. Um, we could go ahead and press stop, right? And as it states here, and I'll just repeat this and I won't even have to paraphrase, identifies the network to which the computer has connected, collects and stores properties for these networks, and notifies applications when these properties change. So this is good if you, uh, like I said, don't want to be found. So you would go ahead and press stop. And see, if you have a home group, this is no good. But do, you want, do we want to stop it? Yes. The things I do for you guys. Now we're good to go and as you see it killed my network connection uh, but that's okay uh, nonetheless let's say you decide uh, you know what this isn't for me I better put it back on go ahead and st select start and now I'm back online uh, you can't see that but we'll go ahead and try and pop it up I don't know if I have the screen over there but uh, our fake little internet connection here uh, several of them and uh, in the office here uh, but nonetheless uh, it is here I am connected and again this allows you not to be uh, storing those uh, properties and whatnot that you may or may not want um, but anyways that concludes today's tutorial for the Tech Me Show Thank you for watching.